Yo, what's the word, y'all? What's going on, man? How everybody doing out there, man? First, man, before I start anything, man, I just want from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank everybody who turned my ass up. Let's go. Turn me up, man. That's what I'm talking about, man. We got to keep going. We got to keep like, sharing, and subscribing, man. Everybody that's new to the channel, I got y'all. I'm going to keep coming with the good content. Just need y'all to rock with me, man. Story's going to be official. I promise y'all that. So, thank y'all, man. Let's keep the momentum going, man. We had, uh, I think it was last time I checked, it was at 600 subscribers. Let's get it to 1,000. Let's get it to 1,000 if I can get monetized, man. We need that, man. I can start going live, talking to all my people, all of y'all who actually gave me a shot, man. I appreciate that, man. So, let's go. Let's get this jump to 1,000, y'all. We got to get there. Get it up. Get it up. Yeah, dang it. Get it up. Let's go, y'all. We rolling, man. Let's keep the momentum rolling, man. But switching over a little bit. Hope everybody's staying out the way, man. It was actually good weather going on today. It was feeling good. Had a lot of stories going through my head. I said, man, you know what, man? For my people showing me love, man, I got another one for them, man. You know what I mean? You know, I'm going to keep coming with them. I promise y'all they're going to keep being bangers every time. They're going to be bangers. After banger, after banger, after banger. But... That brings me to what we talking about today, man. Since everybody's staying out the way, man, I hope that's what everybody doing. So this story right here that I'm about to tell y'all is about an African dude. He wasn't old. He was young, but his name was Cali. He was African, but his name was Cali. And I know that sound weird to y'all, but <laughs> that was his name. But this dude had some god dang on money. When I tell y'all he had some bread, he had some bread. Like, before I even get into everything I was going on with him, man, it was just, it was a lot going on around this time. Um, with me being on Sussex 2, this is almost Sussex 2 for this one, y'all. So this is like 2005, six, I would say, maybe six. But I'm in the pod, what I was telling y'all about when I was in the pod with the dude who did the crazy shit with the phone. Y'all remember that? But that's what I'm in the pod with at the time. I mean, that's what part I'm in at the time. I wasn't even in the cell with him at the time when this was going on. He caught probably like the end, I think. But I'm in the cell actually with my main man, R.I.P. man, Hot Rod from Norfolk, man. That was my dog. I was in the room with him kind of like when all this was transpiring. But um, I ended up going to the hole. But before I got went to the hole and I went to four building and they switched our whole part to 3D, I had went to the hole. So when I went to the hole, I ended up meeting this cool, this cool, Mm, bro was cool, man. He was solid, man. Like, for real, for real. Like, through my years, I started learning that it's real dudes everywhere, not just Norfolk. And I knew that already, right? Because I had friends from other places, but it was real dudes everywhere. I started understanding that, man, as my years started to go by. So I ended up meeting a dude, man, when we was in the hole, and we was actually next door neighbors in the hole, and his name was J-Bo, man. I want to say, I said something about him before, I think, in the story uh, a little bit back, but j -Bo is actually, I want to say he's from Danville. I want to say he's from, I don't, don't want to say Lynchburg. I want to say Danville. I think he's from Danville, but light-skinned dude, cool dude, man. We probably like the same age now because we was around the same age then. But when I went to the hole, I met him. And um, we was next door neighbors and we used to kick it, man. Like if I got something and he ain't got nothing, that my people sent me some food, some soups and candy bars or whatever, some something to smoke, anything. I used to break bread with him and it used to be vice versa. So we end up linking like crazy, getting cool, like without even like chilling. We used to go outside and you know what I mean? When you outside in the hole, you actually go outside and they got you in dog. <laughs> they put you in dog cages when you go to the hole. This shit is nuts. Like I'm telling you, like you go outside, you go to the back of the building, which is back of three building is the hole. And all you see is like, it's like a cage. They just like cage after cage after cage. And it's a split in the middle of all of them. And they, they could put one person in. And lock that joint and then put another person in. So whoever they put in right there is who you probably basically gonna be talking to. But dudes be talking to like all through the fence. Like you all, it's this cage is all going all the way down. It's some scary looking shit. We in the hole. So I used to go out there and holler at them. You know what I mean? But we used to kick it on the set uh, um because we was next door neighbors anyway. So we could talk through the vent or we could talk through the door. But dude ended up being cool, man. He was super, super duper cool. And um I ended up getting out before him. So I got out before him, and when I got out. I had ended up moving to two building. So I met him around the time when I caught a, um, when I caught like my first dirty one. I was telling y'all about when it was weed everywhere. But that's when I met him when I went to the hold in. But when I got out, we didn't link immediately because 
when I got out, I actually went back to 2C where I was at, and I forgot where he went at. I didn't even know where he went at, but he ended up going to the hole again. And when he went to the hole again, now this is the time now that they done moved us all all the way to 3D. When he um <clears throat> when he when he get out the hole, they end up putting him in our pod, which was 3D. So he's in the pod. You know what I mean? Do the cool dude. I, I used to rock with him. Like we used to kick it like. It wasn't really like a whole lot of hanging, but he, you know what I mean? It was understood that me and him was cool. And for real, for real, like, I kind of like bro style, man. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you find real dudes everywhere. You just don't got to be from Tidewater to Richmond, man. Like, all those, all the towns on the outskirts, they got real dudes in prison, man. Like, they real dudes in there. But me and bro, I got cool. So as time going on, we getting cool. I'm in the cell with, with Hot Rod, like I was telling y'all about. So um, around this time, Hot Rod ended up finding the situation for us. You know what I mean? Hot Rod just had got up there. <laughs> and when Hot Rod got up there, Hot Rod came up there. He made sure he made he put his name on the map. And that's just how my dog was, man. My dog was a real deal maniac. Everybody know Hot Rod. No, Hot Rod was a maniac. I'm talking about, bro, as soon as he come up here, I mean, as soon as he got to Sussex, we wasn't in a part at first. I think they had put him in... Um, uh, four building. I, he was somewhere, man. He wasn't in 3D yet because I remember we were still in that other part. We were still in four building before they moved us when he first got up there. And when he got up there, you know what I mean? Like, off the rip, bro, <laughs> bro get into it with Richard. They say he smacked the dude from Richmond. The dudes from Richmond went and got they dudes, which was the main dudes from Richmond. You know what I mean? It was this one dude named Bebe. He was like the main, Bebe kind of like my age bracket of Richmond dudes. And then again, me and Bebe was cool. Like, me and Bebe had a good rapport. You know what I mean? But he was the maniac from Richmond. He was one of them. So, they all the dudes went and got him. And I remember it was a big thing going on because, like, it, it all boiled time. It all boiled down to, like, Bebe didn't really, like, like go at Hot Rob at that moment because he felt like they all ran to get him. So, he was like, y'all ran to come get me. It was a situation. Hot Rob went to the hole and got After he got into, after he ended up, like, the little rumble smack with dude from Richmond, they got tore off of that. So, cause that happened on the basketball court. So when he went to the hole, it was a lot of hot rod came up there. Like he just hot rod about that bread. Like <laughs> that man, little Rick, they about that bread. And that's how they used to do their bid. Like they about that bread. And like I, but you know, later in the story, I told y'all, you know, hot rod and little Rick, they best friends. They end up linking together when they finally got in 3D and they got in the cell. But this is before me and him was in the cell. Me and him was in the cell. So when hot rod go to the, go to the hole, it was some dudes that owed him some bread. From, from Richmond because he ran the store box. So I remember bro getting out the hole and he in the pod now. So we're not roommates yet. So he in the pod, but he like, oh, it's, the, it's some dudes that own some bread. So he laying on the boulevard trying to catch his old pod. You know what I mean? Going to breakfast. And then he caught him. So the dudes that he caught, he was on their top. Like, yo, y'all got to... I need my bread, you know what I mean? Because some dudes would think because you go to the hole that, that the debt is squashed, which all the time that's not the case. Because when dudes get out the hole, they still want their money. So Hot Rod still wanted his bread. So Hot Rod run them dudes down. That's when they went and got the dude, Bebe, you know what I mean? Bebe looking like all oh, y'all running to go get me. So on some maniac to maniac, like they kind of like had an understanding. So it didn't go down, thank God. Because I had like Bebe, I ain't gonna lie, but like Hot Rod was one of the maniacs around town and Bebe was the maniac from Richmond. So, I'm in the cell with Hot Rod now. Now we become cellies. You know what I mean? Bro, bro play poker. You know what I mean? Bro shoot dice. Bro, um, he run the store box. And when I say run the store box, like, Hot Rod, he gonna always be dumb scrap. Like, this, back when they, I, they had tobacco. So, he got so many cigarettes, it don't make sense. Like, he always gonna have cigarettes because he store box. He store box the cigarettes. So, when it came to us smoking, we needed tobacco to smoke a black. We smoked it blacks. But... We, we needed a Newport. It was crunch time. We definitely got a massive Newports. So Hot Rod just had it on Smash, but he ended up coming around the time the dude J-Bo came in the pod. You know what I mean? J-Bo was like three. Where we at, I think we was in sale 44. Hold on. It was 44, 43, 42. We was in 41. And I think J-Bo was in 43. So when J-Bo come in the pod, you know, he trying to find his way. You know what I mean? I could tell he a dude like to get some bread. You know what I mean? But around this time, Hot Rod found a situation for us. So the situation was, he knew a dude in one building that had weed for sale. He had the weed for sale. So he was like, look, so I didn't know this dude, but he said he knew this dude. This dude was from Norfolk. So he said, look, dude said, all we need is 500 for the zip. He was like, dude selling weight. So he was like, we get 500, we can get the zip. You know what I mean? Bet. 
So we get on top of that. We put our heads together. That's two fifty a piece. You know what I mean? You know we trying to make that play. So, boom. Before we make the play, as we you know we got, I think we had to like Wednesday. Uh, it was this. This was like the weekend when he told me about it. But he was like, we got to like Wednesday, Thursday to make the play. So, as we we're putting the play together, now J Bo gets a roommate. Now the <laughs> the dude that moves in the cell with J Bo, he he didn't look like a tough guy. He didn't look like a weak guy. He didn't. He just looked like a regular guy. He was brown skin. He wasn't really that tall. He was a little shorter than me. He had the low, low Caesar back there. I'm talking about the Noriega joint. You know, I'm rocking the Caesar now because I'm getting old. But I'm talking about he had he had the low Caesar then. So when he come in the pod, like, you know, off the rip, people going to see. You can tell where you from when you come in the pod because you either always know some people or people just know that's where you, where you from, where they from. So, like, when do you'll see certain dudes go to certain dudes, then you'll know that's what dudes from when they, when they come in the pod. So when he come in the pod, nobody says anything to him. So that was weird. So I'm jiving, watching, like I told y'all, I'm super duper nosy. <laughs> so I'm watching everything. So he come in the pod, he going to sell my, my homeboy j -Bo. So now he in the sale with j -Bo. So boom, we putting the play together. So nobody knew nothing about this guy yet. Like it was still quiet. So I guess the whole time j -Bo was just in there like laying the blueprint down. So you know, it's quiet. So, boom, we end up getting the package probably that uh, that following weekend. I think we got it on Saturday night. I think we got it on Saturday night. But we had a half ounce of peace. Me and Hot Rod had a half ounce of peace. Now, in prison, a half ounce of, a half ounce of peace is a lot of weed, like, for your pod. Like, you got to understand, like, every pod going to have dudes that spend the big money. And they're going to have dudes that buy all the little stuff with commissary you can give dudes stuff, let them sell it for. You just like when it's weed in the pot, you make the the, the 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 economy be different. Like the economy is better, you know what I mean? Because everybody happy. It's just a different, you know what I mean? Environment. So even if you don't have your own police bringing the jumps into bringing the weed into you, or you went and got your own weed, or whatever play you made to get weed, even if you didn't have those situations, you can still go buy weed from certain dudes that got weight. And it'll be like you got the pack in the pod because you'll be the only one with that much weed. So that's what me and Hot Rod used to do. It used to make sense. Hot Rod used to like just like being dumb. He was on dumb strap status. Like I used to think about being dumb strap, but like I just sometimes used to think like, wow, I don't like, but he was running the store box. Like bro used to have like, no, this is no joke. Bro used on when store day come around, like especially the first of the month store day, he'll probably dudes would probably owe him like five hundred honey buns. Just imagine five. We our sale used to look crazy on store day. Like just imagine five icy whites laying five hundred icy white honey buns laying on the floor on this side. On this side is another five hundred of the regular buns on this side. You got a thousand sausages. You got a thousand. Bro was dumb scrap. You got cigarettes. Like you, I'm, you got cigarettes and other people sell. Like he just was dumb scrap. So. We got a half ounce of peace. So, you know, with that much weed, that's a lot of weed. So it, it used to go like, I think, um, I want to say it was like five spoons for six spoons for a hundred dollars. That's what I want to say it was like, I, I could be wrong. Cause it's been a minute. Like the, the only pricing that I have in my head is kind of Lawrenceville. Like how, like how, how, how the weed used to sell like heavy. I can remember how the weed was on Lawrenceville, but kind of like the prices is a little blurry right now, but I want to say it was like six spoons for a hundred dollars. And when I say spoons, spoons are like when we eat, they give us orange sporks. So just imagine the orange spork, you know what I mean? And dude's supposed to dig in the weed with the spork and, and that's a spoon. You put that on the table. <clears throat> you put that on the table and that's a spoon. But dudes never use that measurement. A lot of the old heads used to use that measurement. You mess around and catch the right old head back when I was coming in, when I first got the susses with some weed. And he'll give you an official spoon. So you couldn't complain because you... You open the spoon up, it's a that jump so fat. That's one of them. You know what I mean? That's probably like a gram and a half in one of them. I don't know why they was that heavy handed back then, but now it's a different ball game. We just just getting out, we breaking the weed down. You know what I mean? We breaking it down and we getting the ID and we be just we 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 eyeballing the spoon. You know what I mean? It could be fat, could be medium, it could be slightly small. It depends how the economy is at the time. Because if it's crazy in there, it's a little drought season, they ain't gonna be that big. But at the same time, some dudes be happy that dudes in the pod got drugs to buy and they don't have to go outside the pod. And especially like with us having it, they know that was a clean play, clean move. Everything was straight. So, boom. Now, out of nowhere, after we break the jump down, you know what I mean? I'm trying to smoke. So, I go holler at the young boy, J-Bo. I'm trying to duck off. Hot Rod went and duck off with the other homeboys. 
I'm with our other homeboys. So I missed that party. So I'm like, I'm just going to go smoke with bro because I came back out. I didn't come out when, we, when the doors open. I came out at cell break. So I come out. I go smoke with J-Bo. So his celly was in there. So like I we asked him, did he want to hit it? He like, yeah. So he hit the weed. So the we smoking the weed. Boom, we smoking the weed. He smoking, he hires a bitch. I don't know if he the uh the um the dude Cali. That was his name. The dude that moved in, his name was Cali. I don't know, I don't know if he if he smoked in a while, and I don't know if he came from receiving. I didn't know no information about him, so I didn't know what was going on, but he was high as he was high as gas. <laughs> he was high as gas. So we smoked the junk. So my um my homeboy called me, he like, look, hot rod said, come to the phone real quick. So when I look up, hot rod, I looked through the door, hot rod on the phone. I was like, let me out, let me out. So you get the door open, boom, I slide out. I go holler at Hot Rod on the phone. By the time I come back, j -Bo waiting for me by the steps. So j -Bo holler at me like, look, walk with me real quick. So when dudes talking to put in penitentiary, especially in like on Sussex back then, like you might see two dudes just spinning circles. Like it looked like some, <laughs> it looked some crazy shit, but dudes walk laps around the pod. Like that's what do you'll see dudes just put the headphones on sometime and just walk laps around the pod. Like it's good exercise. It's a good way to get your mind right. It's a good way to kick it with somebody. If y'all talking about something important and you just want to just make sure that information is in front of you and the person and you don't want nobody to hear it like close by, you can just walk and y'all walk and talk. So dudes just do that. So me and him walking and talking. So as we walking and talking, he like, look, he was like, man, listen, man. He was like, look, dude, dude, African. I'm like, African. So I look at him because now he's standing out by the door. So as we walking, I look, I'm like, African. He was like, man, African, man. I forgot what his last name was. I want to say it was, uh, I'm not going to say Hakeem. That's too easy. But it was something close to that. I was going to tell you, he had an African name. So he like, yo, look, my roommate African, man. He was like, he just lived in California. So he was like, when in the jail, he was at dudes called him Cali. So he was like, his name Cali. So he was like, in California, he was like, he showed me his pictures. He was like, you know what I mean? He was like, his, his people's own this, uh, this grocery store in California. I don't know what state it was in. I mean, not state. I don't know what city it was in. Or none of that in California. But he said the dude people's own a grocery store. Now, Afri African people are definitely known for being wealthy, especially in big states like that. Like, especially they, they already been on top of doing business, getting businesses and doing stuff like that. So all this information he's telling me is like kind of believable. So he and plus, I don't, I don't think bro would come with no, no BS anyway. So as he telling me, he like, look, he showed me what he got on his books. I was like, what? He was like, bro, guess what he got on his books? I was like, what? He was like, man, he got five grand on his books. I'm like, for real? God damn, like he loaded. Now, that might then sound like a lot of money to y'all, you know what I mean? But to have five grand on your books and you're not a drug dealer or you're not like making no moves or you got somebody super duper who love you, like, I didn't know what was going on. So I'm like, that's a lot of bread. So he like, look, and he smoked weed. He was like, that's all he do is want to smoke weed. He was like, man, he told his, his brother, and his mama, you know what I mean? He was like, he told him when he finally get the penitentiary. So I guess he was just getting the penitentiary. So he said when he finally get the penitentiary, that's all he want to do is just smoke his time away. So I was like, yo, what the hell is he in here? I was like, damn, so he got a lot of time. He was like, man, I don't know. I think he got a little bit. He was like, man, he was like, he came down here from Cali. He got a family member to live in I, this pfft, the city, man. I'm trying to think of the city. It, it wasn't Tidewater or Richmond, so it, it had to be one of the outskirt joints. It could be Roanoke. It could be Roanoke, you know what I mean? But it was one of them joints. But he said he came out here to visit a family member. A dude tried to rob his family member, and he shot the dude. Dude ended up dying, y'all. Damn. That's crazy, man. So I think they gave him first degree, or I don't know if it was second degree again, gave him first degree, but I think he said he had like 19, 20 years. And this was a dude probably like, and I met him, you know, I'm, I'm working on an 18-year bid, but now I'm already in like five, four, five now, five, six probably, you know what I mean? I'm in for like my six years. So him hearing he had a, a fresh 20 piece, like, and just coming in was scary to me. I'm like, dang, that's messed up because he didn't really look like a dude that I think that can really handle himself like. And I ain't saying he was a punk, but he just looked like he was just too cool. But he ended up like getting lucky and, and moving in the cell with J-Bo. You know what I mean? So J-Bo like, look, he was like, man, I got him, bro. He was like, look, just give me something to smoke tonight. You know what I mean? He was like, look, just let me holler at him. I got him, bro. I'm telling you, I got him. I'm like, all right, bet. I give him something else to smoke. They do their thing. So when we lock down, I tell Hot Rod, I'm like, look. <laughs> I'm like, look, bro. 
he say the dude, his name Cali, he from California. I mean, he, his name Cali because he lived in California, but he's African. You know what I mean? He says people own a grocery store. He said he got five grand on his books. He got that bread. He got that bread, man. So he like, well, we got to get that. So he like, look, what are you trying to get? You know what I mean? So Hot Rod really ain't sold on his stuff yet. I ain't really sold nothing yet either, but I had, I did give my homeboy something, to, you know what I mean, just to sell the little J's in the pod. The little, we call them Feezy's, two-pack pieces, whatever you want to call them back then. You know what I mean? Just to, look, just to supply the pod. Like, you know what I mean? For dudes don't got to be running down on me or running down on Hot Rod. But Hot Rod like, look, that's crazy. He was like, man, that's worried. He was like, man, see what he talking about, what he trying to say. He was like, he got something in his books. I'm trying to go to property. I'm trying to do all that shit. So like bet. So boom. He came out next morning. Come out for breakfast. Boom, we go out for breakfast. I see J Bo. J Bo like, yo, let's walk. So we walked to breakfast. He like, look. He said, he gonna get on the phone tomorrow. He was like, he trying to buy whatever you can do. You know what I mean? He was like, for real, for real. His people's would do it ASAP, you know what I mean? But he was like, he'll prefer if we could do the money off the books. You know what I mean? So back then the money off the books was complicated, y'all. It was like you had to uh like, they didn't, like, it was so much going on with, like, I mean, you can do uh, money off the book sometime and get it to somebody, you know what I mean? Send it to somebody, you want to send it to this address or whatever, they'll write you a money order. But it was a process with that. Like, you would have to get the side, you have to fill out who you sending it to, why you sending it to. I forgot what it used to be called, you know what I mean? It was a paper. You had to fill it out, who you sending it to, why you sending it, the amount, this and that. You got to put it in the sergeant office. He, he got to wait, you got to wait till he approve it, and that might take a week. You know what I mean? Either way, it was just a process. Like, a lot of dudes didn't do that. When dudes did that with dudes, it'll usually be probably like if it was a cool sergeant worker, they know for a fact that that paper gonna get signed, that paper gonna, that money order gonna get sent out because they used to take their time with that. So, a lot of dudes didn't do that. So, boom, light bulb popped in my head. I'm like, look, I said, man, tell them we can do this. I was like, we can, I'm gonna still sell them some stuff. I was like, but look, tell them we can do this. I was like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to go to property. So every month you can go to property in, in your building, but it's, it's like you, your day will fall on your, your day. It, it'll fall during different times for the building. When is your property? Like it might be, I, 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 I um, uh, my building got property this month. You know what I mean? So I know our time was coming up. It was the end of the month. So I'm like, look, now when you do that, that's, that's immediately like he, we can just get him to order some stuff. So I thought I was like, look, Tell him, God damn, if I give him two hundred dollar list of what they get me from property, well, I'll do that. I'll do that with him. So he was like, "All right, bet." So, you know what I mean? He gonna holler at him. So when we go eat and come back, he come back and tell me, he like, "Look, he'll do that." But he was like, he trying to get more. He trying to buy me something too. <laughs> so I'm like, "What?" He like, "Yeah." He's like, he trying to buy him something and J Bo something. So I'm like, "All right, long as the money good, you know, I'm gonna trust you." I was like, "I'm gonna let Hot Rod handle the other play since I just got the property play." So boom. Hot Rod, I plug him with Hot Rod. We all talk, you know what I mean? Had a little kumbaya, all four of us, you know what I mean? Introduced. Dude, was, he was kind of like, he was a, he didn't even have an African accent. Now, I heard him talk African like a while, a little fast forwarding a little bit when I gave him a three-way one time. His phone was acting crazy. I heard like the little African accent come out, you know what I mean? A couple of words I ain't understand, but he, he didn't look African. Like he was light brown skin. He had the bald head slightly, looked kind of young, you know what I mean? And he just... He just looked like he wanted to smoke some weed. Like, he, that's all. That's when he smoked weed. Like, when he was high from that last time, he just stayed in there. He didn't even want to come out for real. He came out and stood by the cell. So, like, we all talked. So, Hot Rod said, look, I'm trying to get some money and some pro some property. So, Hot Rod wants some property, too. I didn't, when I, the list I gave him was a, the sweat, a whole sweatsuit, a pair of Nikes, and, uh, like, three, four uh, T-shirts. Crispy t-shirts, you know what I mean? So I think that came out to like almost two, I think it was like 175, maybe something like almost 200. I know it equaled up about 200, you know what I mean? But I gave him that list. Hot Rod was like, he wants some money and the, the property list. So Hot Rod gave him a property list for 100. Hot Rod is like, I got a sweatsuit, I think a skull cap, some, uh, some wife beaters. It wasn't, no, it wasn't wife beaters. It was, uh, I think some white tees. and some white tees probably, but Hot Rod ended up selling him something for like $200. So all together, he done spent 200, 300. So that's 500. So he was asking like, he was asking us like, yo, like what's like, how, what's the weight? Like how I go, like how our dudes be doing this and doing that. So we shown like, I'm sorry y'all. Like we was being petty. <laughs> we was being petty as prison. You gotta, you gotta be, you, you can get eaten in there, man. Like, you know what I mean? I might want to extort him or 
like stealing from them and all that. But yeah, I boost the prices up. That's what we was doing. So me and Hot Rod, I already talked about it. Like, look, if he want to buy some weight, like we'll just, we'll sell him a quarter for a half. Like we'll tell him it's a half because in there, I told you there's no scales. There's no way to find out what exactly, a <clears throat> excuse me, what a half ounce look like. But you going to remember, you could, like, I ain't even going to lie. I used to sell a little weed before I got locked up. And I couldn't remember off the rip what a half an ounce looked like in an eyeball game. You know what I mean? I couldn't remember. So the way we used to, to measure the joint, we'll get a, a white piece of notebook paper. And it'll be about this thick of weed, about this much, going across the middle of the, going across the middle of the paper. So it'll be, we'll measure that as a quarter. I know that sounds crazy, but just imagine a notebook paper. We'll get a bunch of weed and it'd be about this thick. And it'll be going across the middle of the paper. And when it gets to the end of the paper, we fold the paper. We make it tight. We fold it up. And, and it'll be nice and folded. Tape it up. So when you open it, it looked like a lot of weed. Like, it is, <laughs> it's going to be a decent amount of weed. You know what I mean? So that's how we used to weigh, you know what I mean, quarters. We used to weigh quarters like that. Not halves, but quarters. So he was like, look, we're going to just sell him. You know what I mean? Like, that's what we're going to do. Like, he want to buy a weight. We're just going to try him for the quarter. And he was like, of course, j -Bo probably know. That that's not that's not the size, but still, like, what what what, what can Jabo do? So, boom, we like, man, we, we were just gonna wait it out. We done gave him the list. Boom, they smoked that up. They smoked that up. You know what I mean? So me and Hot Rod then went half and made another quarter together, and we was like, we'll just split the five hundred because the, the half go for five hundred dollars. That's what we told him. Not a quarter. Quarters go for two fifty. So they smoked that up. J-Bo come back. j -Bo was like, look, he going to get on the phone. He was like, look, man, he going to get on the phone today. Just let him know where you want him to send it on that. So this was this was, this was was back when dudes were just sending it to, you know what I mean? Like, they had to go, they had to go to, uh, uh, like, later on in Green, um, Lawrenceville time, dudes had green dots and all that other stuff. But around this time, this was, um, you either do a street to street, like, you can get your peoples to meet or... So, or the, your peoples that have to go into um this back they had to go in I want to say Western Union or something like that and or a check cash and um get a money order and send it like or send the, you know when you send Western Union sometimes you can send Western Union fast like so I think it used to be like that so I think that's how they was doing it. so he was like he want a half a half a ounce like bet we do it so just to speed it up a little bit y'all like we like J Bo had that man in a <laughs> He had him, and for real, for real, it wasn't nobody mess like nobody mess with J Bo, you know what I mean? Because for one, we gonna hold J Bo down because that's the bread, you know what I mean? So J Bo was cool, like he didn't. We like I said, we didn't have to hang every day, but it was understood in the pod that we used to rock with J Bo. So we did this for a while, y'all. Like I ain't gonna lie, like dude was rich, his his family was rich. Forget that five grand that he had on his books. That's just what he came up there with. I'm talking about. He started showing me pictures of the cars he had back in um in California. He showed me the house that his family had. Like he just was dumb scrap. Like he was dumb. He had everything. He he bought him J Bo. Uh, he bought it him his roommate new TVs, new CD players, shoes. He I'm talking about. He he made the economy different in the pod because when we would sell them, when we get the weed and we would sell them the weed. J-Bo would be selling the weed in the pod. So J-Bo had his few homeboys and they used to have weed and it just it was just different. Like it'll be different. We really didn't have to do that. And we was cool with that. Me and Hot Rod was cool with that damn doing our little thing, hitting them like that. So boom. Now the pod's starting to slightly change over a little bit. Like it's changing over slightly, like slightly, slightly. But they starting to bring dudes in they starting to bring new dudes around, new dudes in the pod. So it was this one dude from Portsmouth, man. His name was Spanky. And Spanky was Portsmouth's maniac. He was, and R.I.P. the Spanky man. I heard he came home and passed away too, man. It's crazy that Hot Rod, both of them, both of those, like, like him and Hot Rod had a, like, they, they didn't really like each other. Like, they ain't even gonna lie. Like, that jump was like, like I said, he was he was the maniac from Portsmouth. Hot Rod was a maniac from Norfolk. So, like, they used, they used to play poker. So, at around this time, they done, they done start move, bringing dudes in the pod. You know what I mean? Like um, different dudes, different a lot of different dudes in the pod. So we still doing, it looked like we ain't even really doing nothing. We just dumb scrapped in there. We're not really doing nothing for real, for real, nothing crazy, making no noise. Like we look like we, we super rich and nothing, um, nothing like that. We ain't got no cell phone. We ain't doing that. We didn't even think about a cell phone. Like this junk was just money on deck. Like boom, boom, boom. We had a dude that would spend that money and we was getting the money. Regardless if it was in, in there with us or he had to send it to our peoples, we was getting the money. 
So when the new dudes moving apart, it was uh it was it was a dude named Jay Bone from Portsmouth too. And I ain't gonna lie, he was a cool dude, man. Like I, I don't know if he's still bitten or is he home now, but Jay Bone from Portsmouth was an official dude too. I ain't gonna lie, he was an official dude. I used to rock with him. And it was another dude named Cheese from Portsmouth. You know what I mean? He was a cool dude. So they had a little Portsmouth mob, you know what I mean? Slightly like Portsmouth don't never really be super deep like Norfolk, you know what I mean? But they they always got some official dudes. Like they got official dudes that go. They got legends. They got just like every other city. Like so, Jay Bone was an official dude, and, and Cheese was official. You know what I mean? And so when Spanky get up there, Spanky before he even came to our pod, like he was he was a dude that just was like he was like he just was. I couldn't understand him. Like I didn't even know him. I used to see him from afar at first before he moved our pod, and I just didn't understand because when he get up there. It's like he was running with the bloods first. And everybody thought he was blood. And the reason why, like, I know, like, just these things, like, what's going on because he was wilding. Like, I heard off the rip when he got up there, he was running with the bloods. Like, when he was running with the bloods, I ain't even gonna lie. I think the leader of the bloods was from Portsmouth. I can't think of his name, but he was a young boy. But he was a big young boy from Portsmouth. And he was the leader at this time, particular time. Of, I think I don't know if it was his set or it was the bloods, but he had a lot of dudes with him. So I want to say it was his set. So he's had a lot of dudes. So Spanky used to run with him. You know what I mean? So they used to be running around stinging dudes. You know what I mean? Like just this wild stuff. So like we in the pod, you know what I mean? Like it's 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 me, Big Dave from Norfolk, uh Hot Rod, um, KK from uh, KK from Norview. Like it was a lot of Norfolk dudes in there too. We had we had some dudes in there too. So when Spanky first get up there. Him and Hot Rod bump heads because one day me, nobody went outside. One day me and Hot Rod, I got the pack. When nobody went outside, Hot Rod went outside. Hot Rod always used to go outside. He go outside to holler at somebody. Even if it's real quick, he going outside. So he go outside. They say when he go outside, the, the, all the bloods that was on the fence, they watching him, Hot Rod pump. Now, Hot Rod just getting up here for real. They don't really know Hot Rod. Like, the compound changed slightly. He got, he got into it with the Richmond boys. Hot Rod did. He go to the hole. Now he over there with us. So they don't really know Hot Rod. So... They asking questions who he is and all that. So Hot Rod Pen was going on. So, you know, Hot Rod on aggressive time. He loved that type stuff. So they said when the gate had opened, because my roommate, my roommate at the time, not, not my roommate, a dude in the pod. I forgot. I want to say his name was Ellie. They He said he was out there with Hot Rod, but he was from the beach, but he had family in Norfolk, but he used to rock with us too. He said when he went outside, he seen um, the dudes watching Hot Rod, so he out there working out. It's winter time, so nobody went out. It was freezing cold, morning time, rent. We might go out the next rent, but you know what I mean? He said he went out there, he seen the dudes watching Hot Rod. So he say they got out, they when it was time for rent over with, he, they let they gate off first, but instead of going to four building where they supposed to win at, they waited by three building where our building is at. So they said, uh, he said when Hot Rod came, um, they was coming off the joint, he said they was waiting. So when Hot Rod walked past, they were like, yo, what's up? You got some weed for sale? Hot Rod was like, yeah, what you want? You know what I mean? He said the dude Spanky was the main one talking, but they, my um my um the dude from the beach was like it just looked shaky. So you no know, young boy from the beach he on he on go time. You know what I mean? So he said he just threw his coat off like what's up? What y'all trying to do? You know what I mean? Because it just looked crazy with too many of them. You know what I mean? So niggas like oh why? Right. So it was a big thing behind that. That didn't really get crazy. Hot Rod and uh, and bro was able to make it back in the pod. You know what I mean? So that was like the first running with Hot Rod and Spanky. Long story short, with that. That joint ended up getting squashed because in the pod, it was a dude named um, Scooty B that was from Norfolk. And Scooty B was actually cool with the dude Spanky that we didn't know about. Like, at first, I thought it was going to get ugly, y'all. Like, you know, like, dude, I be trying to stay out of the way, but I thought this was going to get ugly because one thing about it, we ain't going to play about these drugs, especially like on some you trying to rob. Like, that that don't happen. So, you know, I thought it was going to get crazy, but that ended up getting kind of like squashed. So by the time Spanky then moved in our pod, it, it's like, you know, Scooty B is in there. He kind of, they cool. Like, they, they you know what I mean? Like, it was it was like, they him and Hot Rod wasn't cool, but he in the pod. So, around this time, the dude Spanky is, is really finally about to go home. So, time that went after they done done that, then he finally moved in the pod. So, by the time he moved in the pod, they said he was on go home time, kind of like, you know what I mean? Like, he was about to go home, but he was still a maniac. He was still a maniac. He was still Spanky. And he in there with J-Bone and Cheese. So, he like he looked like he was chilling. He used to be on the phone. He used to play poker. Like he didn't got in a couple things, but it won't. It didn't go. But they, they said, bro, push that knife. Like he really gonna go though. You know what I mean? And um, like for real, for real. Like I think he was in the pod twice, man. Now it's coming back to me, man. Because um, yeah, he, he yeah he spanky wild, man. But um, he he was in the pod. He was wilding. 
You know what I mean? On chill mode, slightly wilding, wild again, then be on chill mode. It was just crazy. So, you know, we got Cali. We got the situation with Cali. You know what I mean? That jumped quiet, but nobody really don't know. Dude's starting to figure out that Cali got that bread, though. Everybody started to figure out in their mind, Cali got that damn bread. You know what I mean? So, in the penitentiary, y'all, like, y'all gotta understand, man, like, it's real wolves in there. Like, when I say wolves, like, they can smell weakness. And when I say smell it, they just, like, you'll see stuff like this happen. You'll see dudes, like, people will steal from somebody that's weak. Even though people look down on stealing, you will have dudes that are steal. You know what I mean? Like, dudes that do any, if they smell weakness, it's gonna be weakness. Now, with the Portsmouth mob being in there, with us being in there, it was a Richmond mob in there as well. And this Richmond mob was, uh, I want to say, Big Jamie. I don't know if dudes from Richmond know him, but he was he was another maniac <laughs> from Richmond. Like, every, every city has maniacs. I'm telling y'all, like, Jamie was one of them. Jamie was kind of a big dude. He had the beard. Like, before Ross had it, he had the Ross. Before, that's a word, before Ross had the Ross, the Ross, he had the Ross. Jamie had the Ross, but he was kind of a big fat, not fat. I, he was slightly fat, but he was tall with it, so it didn't look bad. But he, he he was one of them big confident big guys though. Like he was one of them dudes pop the top. You know he was a big dude at dice game. Like that's what he do. He was funny as hell though. I ain't gonna lie. Me and him was alright too. But I knew he was a maniac. So they in there. He in there. It's a dude named Red in there from Richmond. It was uh they had a few dudes in there. They had a little team in there too, man. They had a little team in there too. So mm, we making a quiet play with Cali. Everything going smooth. You know what I mean? Everything going smooth. So this happened. We get another pack. Me and Hot Rod buy. This is like our fourth junk we done buy. We done probably buy four or five of them junks from dude. We done probably bought a half, uh, probably a half a pound from dude already. Like that 500 was nothing. We was buying that. And the weed used to be all right. So we was buying that stuff, man. So um, boom. While we doing this right now, the last package we got, we was like, look. Man, we're going to sell this junk to bro, man. So, you know what I mean? We was like, we're just going to sell them, you know what I mean? A half an ounce for an ounce. For a thousand, you know what I mean? Like, man, Hot Rod was like, man, for real, for real. He was like, man, that's going to be all of it. For real, we ain't going to have nothing but this left. You know, we got to do this and do that. I'm like, man, forget that. Let's just get the quick thousand. Because I'm, I'm, I'm saying that because, like, we got the pack, but it's a lot of maniacs in the pod. I don't like J Bo. He cool. He's safe. You know what I mean? I don't think nobody gonna try J Bo. Nobody was gonna try J Bo, but J Bo wasn't a big dude either. It's just kind of, you know, like around the time, you know, when you're doing business in there, like dudes, like I'm telling you, like the part is starting to change. Like they bringing dudes in, like dudes that been bitten, dudes, real maniacs, dudes that got, they just being on crazy time. So you Spanky in there, Jamie in there, Hot Rod in there. It's real deal maniacs in this part at this time. So, um, like, damn, we're gonna sell them the jump, man. So, like, all right, man, we sell it to him, man. So, boom, we sell him the junk. You know what I mean? We sell him the junk. So, when we sell him the junk, he owes us a thousand. So, when we sell it to him, why are we going to lock down that next morning, y'all? We going to lock down, man. I promise y'all. It was crazy. I couldn't believe it. I was like, we going to lock down. But I ain't mad because me and Hot Rod are straight. We got weed. We got cigarettes, blacks, food. Going on lockdown was nothing to us. <laughs> We didn't care, but at the same time, though, like, we worrying about that money. He didn't get a chance to get on that phone, so, you know what I mean? Like I say, any little thing that had you skeptical in prison, like, we was like, ah, that's going to be crazy right there, but everything should be good. Let's not think for the worst. So, we go on lockdown. We come off lockdown. So, when we come off lockdown, he get on the phone. He can't get through. He can't get through, y'all. He can't get through to nobody. He trying to get through. His j -Bo put him through. They ain't answer. He calling from his straight through joke. They ain't answer. j -Bo put him through doing answer. So now me and Hot Rod sitting back watching like. So now people starting to realize what's going on. Even though they probably could have guessed, but they probably was thinking it was j -Bo stuff. You know what I mean? That's how low it was. Like everybody was probably thinking it was j -Bo work. You know what I mean? But people, I see people watching. People watch, people watch everything in prison. You're not going to be able to do nothing. I'm telling you, you can't do nothing. They watching everything. So, we like, me and Hot Rod, like, yo, hold on, man. No, he ain't playing games. He done spent too much money to play games. We done made a decent penny off this guy. You know what I mean? We done made a decent, decent penny off this guy. I remember one time, he put me on the phone with his mom, and I didn't even want to talk to him. He was like, look, just talk. Just tell her that, you know what I mean? You in here, you got me, man. I was like, yeah, he cool. Yeah, I got him. He all right in here. 
but I don't got them. I just want my money. Like, <laughs> I don't got bro, man. Like, I can't hustle and protect people, man. Protecting people wasn't part of my, you know what I mean? It wasn't part. But at the same time, though, like, at the end of the day, if nothing crazy, we won't, we won't go, like, let nothing crazy happen to J-Bo. Like, it was more for J-Bo for real. Like, he just had his roommate to spend the money. I wasn't, you got dude, you got certain dudes in there that'll fight for dudes that got money and, like, like you could be, like a, 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 like, a frail black dude, a frail white dude, like, this tall. And if you got some money, you'll see dudes fight to the death. Like, it goes down like that in prison. Like, you know what I mean? Protecting something that's not even theirs. You know what I mean? What's going to happen is that's going to, y'all going to do that. Y'all going to kill each other. The other dude, the, the guy that got the money, he's just going to go to the hole, never come out, go to another compound and reset and do it all over again. He rich. So I never was one of those dudes that I'm going to be killing nobody or fighting for real, for real over somebody that had the bread. Like I say, now, if he owe that bread, you know what I mean? Like, we own it. So, boom, he can't get through. He can't get through. He can't get through. I give him a three where he can't get through. So, Hot Rod, like, man, that's crazy, man. He got to pay that money. Hot Rod ready to go <laughs> take a TV. We ready to take a TV. Take every like, man, he got to pay that. You old bad. So, I'm like, man, he definitely got to pay that, man. He going to pay it, man. So, I'm trying. J-Bo, like, yo, I don't know what's going on. Like, the man was in a cell crying the other night. He like, damn, he don't like on nobody. This and that, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, ah, it's crazy, man. I want that bread. So I'm like, yo, look. I'm like, man, like, ain't nobody going nowhere at the time. Like, you know what I mean? So I'm like, we can be patient, man. But we need that bread, though. I was like, what he got on his books? So he was like, man, he probably got like, probably like 800 on his books. So I'm like, yo, we don't need that. Like, that's, <laughs> if nothing else don't happen by the beginning, the end of this week, which the end of the month was coming up again, we're like, we don't need that. We don't need that. You got to pay, man. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we can't be like waiting forever, but sometime in prison, it'd be like that, y'all. Y'all can ask anybody that hustle in prison, man. Like, you might have a dude, you know he got good money, you know what I mean? And he been spending good money. He been spending, he been spending. It probably happened like this on the street, too. It's, you know, when you got a plug or somebody you pump it to, then something happened with money, you fuck around, give him some tick, and you know what I mean? It'd be different circumstances, but in there, like, you have a dude, you know, he got money, he, he hustling, he hustling, he hustling, and then and the next thing you know, ah, oh, his people's done shut him down for a minute. Like, he been spending too much, and you don't know that's how it be, but that's what people, parents be doing. People, brothers and sisters and mamas, and people like they'll shut down for a while. Like, hold on, you need to calm down. You're blacking out. So, that's probably what happened with Cali. That's what we was thinking. But it didn't happen. When, like, that wasn't what happened, though. The next day, they called Cali to the office. We was like, why they call him? We don't go, don't go to the hole. Please don't go to the hole. We come back from, we either went to the office. The office was like, you got to go down the steps. It's like in the middle of the, of, the, of the building. So, he come back. He tell J-Bo, J-Bo tell us when we come out, like, yo, they say his mama got in the car, so they were like, what? Like, damn. So he was like, he would talk to his brother, you know what I mean? So his brother, like, gonna get his phone jaw hooked up with his brother, you know what I mean? If he can call straight through to his brother. So he was able to do that. He called straight through to his brother. He took care of his situation, man. He paid me a hot ride, thousand dollars. You know what I mean? We was happy. So, you know, every the show must go on. But now at this time he got weed. So like I told y'all there's wolves in the pod. The wolves is noticing that he got this weed. The wolves is noticing. You know what I mean? So out of nowhere, my man J Bo go to the hole, man. <laughs> J Bo went to the hole, man. I I forgot what bro went to the hole for, but I, it was some it was some it was some it was some BS, man. It was some BS, man. And I was mad he went to the hole because he been chilling for like almost a year now. We've been in there almost a year just cooling. So I'm like, dang, he went to the hole. And I'm thinking like, man, that play kind of messed up too. I was like, it ain't gonna be messed up. I was like, we still can serve him, but like at the same time, though, like now, like he on his own. I'm not like I told you, I'm not the dude. I'm not gonna even though he had good money. I, what what can I do? I'm not stopping the wolves from doing with the wolves. As long as the wolves don't mess with me, me and the wolves ain't got no problem. But the wolves gonna do what the wolves gonna do. You know what I mean? So, I'm like, damn, bro, go to the hole, man. So now, as bro go to the hole, I don't even know who his roommate was. But when he went to the hole, it, it changed. Now I'm starting to see, you know what I mean, the dude Spanky then cut into him. Now, I, I'm pretty sure J-Bone, J-Bone on some get money shit. Like, like J-Bone on some, the dude Spanky used to be with, he on some get money time. And Spanky was on get money time too, but he still be on goon time <laughs> at times. He be on goon time, so... I'm starting to see him talk to him. I'm starting to see him go to the phone. Like, they walk in laps. You know what I mean? Like, he was alone. J-Bo was gone. J-Bo was around him so long. Now he's alone. Like, he just was stuck. So, I'm like, man, Spanky done cut into him, man. Lord, man. I'm watching this. I'm telling Hot Rod. But 
at the time, we don't have no smoke. Like, we don't have nothing to sell them at the time. So, boom. I don't know what him and Spanky talked about. But whatever they talked about, I guess Spanky was on some cop some more. You know what I mean? Buy some more smoke and let me control it. Now, bro, I told y'all, bro was about to go home. I, I'm pretty sure like, after for being a maniac, he was already locked up way before us, kind of. So he was down already a little minute. He probably got locked up like 97. So he was going home like in 2006. You know what I mean? He was 2007, 2008, like 2007, something like that. He was going home. So I don't know why he was doing these activities. And like I said, I don't think J-Bone really agreed with what he was doing. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, that's his man. You know what I mean? They, the Portsmouth mob, they're going to run together. So... He run, he do the jump with Cali, you know what I mean? The, the friendly extortion, you know what I mean? So he think he's the only wolf who's drooling blood? No, the Richmond boys was drooling blood too. They was just stalling J-Bo out. Now J-Bo gone, they, they saw the opportunity. So the dude, it was a dude named Red, y'all. He was he was, he was was a little, not that short, almost about Spanky size, a little bit shorter. Spanky wasn't really a tall dude either. Spanky was a cut up type of dude though. Like you could tell he even locked up. He was locked up for a little bit. He had a decent little cut to him. You know what I mean? Kind of skinny dude cut. Red was probably the little little skinny dude without no cut. But you know what I mean? He just regular dude in the pod. He real light skin. Had the blonde beard slightly from, from the R. And me and him was cool too. But I guess they got down on Cali top, man. So him, Jamie, all the other Richmond niggas, they on his top. They basically saying he got a kick. So I'm thinking Cali is telling them that Spanky is like holding him down. Something like that is going on. So... When they find when when Spanky found out that they put the pressure on him, Spanky snapped in the pod. He snapped. He snapped. He was, yo, ain't nobody gonna fuck with him. Ain't nobody gonna mess with him, y'all. Ain't nobody gonna touch him. Ain't nobody gonna touch him. Anybody touch him, they gonna touch me. I'm telling y'all, don't mess with him. He snapped. I'm like, oh my god, this is crazy. I'm like, this is crazy. This is crazy right here. So I'm watching. You know what I mean? As usual, got a front row seat. You know what I mean? I'm like, this is nuts. But me and Hot Rod saying, like, yo, like, we, 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 shit, that's that's old bro. Like, even though bro spend that money, like, bro, you got, you got a bit to do, bro. Like, if I would have got locked up in California, would the tables, would you would you save me? No. And I wouldn't expect you to do it either. So, we watching that jump, man. So, we like, this is crazy, man. So, boom, I guess I guess the Richmond dudes is kind of mad that Spanky Jive stuck his nose in their business. You know what I mean? Because that's all it was, like. They was, I figured it was like this. They was already plotting to take Stort Cali once, once J-Bo left. You know what I mean? But Spanky beat him to the punch. And when Spanky beat him to the punch, that made them pump their brakes a little bit because they know bro about that action. They bought action too, but bro about that action. So action to action, like ain't nobody going to get no money. So that made them pump their brakes a little bit. But they probably, they finally said, forget it. And they still pushed on Cali. So... I'm like, this is crazy, man. This is crazy, man. This is crazy right here. So they they still pull up on Cali. You know what I mean? So Spanky and them, it was, it, I forgot. It was about to go down that night in the pod, but it didn't go down. I forgot for somebody from Richmond ended up talking to J-Bone and the talk ended up like, huh? Like easing the tension. Like the it was tension though. It was about to get crazy. I told you, Big Jamie in there, all of them in there from the R, J-Bone, Spanky, Chi, all three of them. Spanky and Cheese, two tall dudes. You know what I mean? Spanky is the short one out of the crew, but he's he's the wild one out of the crew. So it was about to go down. It didn't go down though. So he got let go. So the next day come. The next day come, y'all. Dude, Spanky, he used to be on the phone. Like it was it was like five Sussex had five phones, I wanted to say. One, two, three, four. Then it was this one that was all of them was the same height on the wall. Then it was one that was a little bit shorter. I guess just in case like someone shorter, sometimes midges in prison. So they had a phone that was a little shorter that was like not shorter, but like just not the same the length as the other phones on the wall. So dudes used to get on that phone and you can just sit on your sit down on your butt, you know what I mean? Or you can kneel down and put your back to the wall, you know what I mean? But some dudes just sit down on their butt and stretch across uh, let their legs stretch out and be on the phone, just you know what I mean? So dudes would be like that. So Spanky used to always be on the phone like that. You know what I mean? He used to always be on the phone like that, talking to this girl. You know what I mean? He used to be on the phone every morning. So I'm standing at the TV talking to, uh, it was me, Hot Rod, and somebody, I <clears throat> can't remember. It was somebody else. But we watching TV. We watching Sports Center. It's morning wreck, about to happen. You know what I mean? Some of the yards are already out there. They just take their time, do one building at a time. 
excuse me, do one building at a time. So outside records about to happen. So Spanky is on the phone. So while Spanky is on the phone, he on the phone, he chilling. He's sitting on his butt. The dude Red just walked by. Boom. He walked past him. Then he act like he was walking laps. And then you just see him hit a U-turn. And when he hit a U-turn, he pulled a knife out. Knife just <laughs> thank God I ain't never get hit with a knife. But like I'm telling you, he pulled the knife out. He pulled the knife out. And when he pulled the knife out, he ran. We seen him. Like Spanky don't see him yet. He ran down on Spanky. And he didn't swing it like I'm like I'm trying to hit him like this. He swung it like he had it like this. And he tried to hit Spanky in his neck. So I'm like, oh, I'm, what, that jump was crazy. So I got I'm right, they right there. I'm telling you, they right in front of me. The phones is right there. Spanky, Spanky, take the jump. Kind of, I think it hit him like right here. He, when, when he see dude throwing it, he, boom, I think the jump hit him like right here. So dude, Red, he trying to, he trying to get him. Spanky, a veteran though. Spanky, mm, Spanky, get off his butt. He swing, he catch dude. And he took him for the ride, y'all. Oh, he, man, he dumped his brains out. And when he dumped his brains out, the knife went that away. <laughs> the knife went that away. Man, Spanky got that knife. Spanky got that knife. He was on him. He, like, the red was still on his back. While he slammed him, boom, he trying to recover. He ran and got the knife. He came back. He was on top of him. Red got his legs in the air trying to block. You know, like, this imagine you on your back and your legs are in the air, your hand. He trying to block. He can't do nothing, though, because he on his back. Spanky just timing them joints. Mm. Mm. I'm talking about he hitting Red with that sh He's hitting him with it. He's hitting him with it, man. Boom. Where they at fighting, the lady in the booth can't even shoot the gun because they like at an angle. Like, she, like it's the, the angle where the phones are at. It's hard to shoot people. So they right there. She can't even really shoot him. They call the code. Spanky hit him. Red, red, ah, oh, red finally maneuver. They get the face square off. He swing, Spanky swing the knife at him, hit him again in the shoulders. Red grab the knife. They rumbling. It was crazy. Police ran in there, man. Broke that stuff up, man. That's word. Look, that was the first one of the one of the realest first knife fights I had seen. That the dudes walked away. Like for real, for real. Spanky got hit and Red got hit. Both of them was bloody. Both of them was bloody popes. And when I say like, not like it was massive, but Red was bloody. Red had blood on his face, blood on his shirt. Spanky had blood on his white shirt. It was it just looked brutal, man. But Spanky walked away unscathed. Like, not unscathed. He took a couple shots. Red was the one that was kind of messed up for Rich, but I ain't even gonna lie. Red was messed up, man. Like, and I know he regret letting that dude slam him, man. I know for a fact. And that's how I know he regret it because years later, I ended up bumping into Red not only in the hole, but I, he ended up coming to Lawrenceville. Red got his weight up. <laughs> Red, Red won't look no more. Red look like when I used to see him in the hole after that, because he never got out of the hole after that. Spanky ended up going home. He never got out of the hole either. But when I used to see Red after that, Red was doing push-ups and, and Red got big because I know for a fact he said, he, mm, that dude got me like, that ain't supposed to go down like that because he could have died. You know what I mean? But you see what happened. Dudes fight over dudes. When this happened now, because Spanky and them got to fight, Jamie and them immediately go in there and take everything away from um, Cali. They take everything from him. They take his TV. They take everything. They just did him super duper dirty. Messed the whole play up. But what could, we, what could me and Hot Rod do? We couldn't do nothing. They took everything from him, man. The man got scared, went to the hole. He never came out the hole. So like I told you, when dudes like that got money, they, they check in and they just go to another pod and reset, man. That's what happened, man. Like dudes that got money in the pod, y'all, like it's, it, it creates situations. Like it, it becomes violent. It can come good. It, like it's just going to be different situations, man. Like y'all don't want to have to go to prison, man, and have to experience dudes that be praying on the week because if you wanted a week watching this and you end up going to the going to prison, you won't have to deal with these dudes, man. Dudes will fight and kill for something that they think that's theirs when it comes to like money. Money is like ah, it'll make dudes jump out there, man. So like you gotta be careful and y'all gotta stay your ass out the way for y'all don't have to go through these situations, man. You see what Cali go through, man. I know it's a lot of dudes watch this that got money. Them dudes, y'all come in and got money. It could be a good thing, but it could turn out bad too. So just stay out the way. For y'all don't have to worry about this, man. Because dudes kill over dudes that got money, man. I done seen it happen a few times, man. Like, they, it's get, it get crazy. And that that fight that I witnessed right there over the dude, Cali, it got super violent, man. So to avoid that, just stay y'all ass out the way. That's all y'all got to do, man. Appreciate everybody for liking, man. Liking, subscribing, man. 
story over with y'all, man. I appreciate everybody for watching, man. Like, share, and subscribe me, man. That's what I need y'all to do, man. Like, let's keep it going. Let's keep the momentum rolling. Like I told y'all, we on the way, y'all. I got them jumps. I'm coming with them, man. And I'm going to keep letting y'all hear them, man. You know what I mean? That's what we're going to do, man. But y'all, please stay out the way for me out there, man. Use your, use your brain, man, before you react, man. It'll get you out of a lot of situations, man. Don't react first. A lot of dudes react before losing their brain. Use your brain first, man. And that's what we doing, man. Staying our ass out the way. Thanks, everybody, for watching again, y'all.